All right, I finally got a new fingernail gouge. The other one was pretty much shot. So I'm gonna demonstrate that today. And I wanted to clear up one question about the, the wax and mineral oil. I don't think I mentioned it in the, in the first video, but if you search down, it'll show you how to mix it and everything. But uh, let's go ahead and get started with this. All right, I just have a piece of poplar I trued up and I'm just gonna make a, a finial with it and I'll show you how the, the fingernail gouge can get in and do some really nice uh, tight detail work. And I turned the lathe speed up to 1800. Can just get right in there. We'll just make a nice little thing. Okay, so you can see it makes, makes a nice clean cut. I'm gonna go ahead and start from here, and so I have a little bit of wood to support it. I didn't wanna get that too thin, and we'll make a nice little, uh, little finial out of it. Okay, so I'm just gonna switch uh, tool rest out so I can get my hand underneath it to support it from behind so it doesn't break on me.
So you can see how, how far you can get into it to do some nice little detail work. You can actually put a relief cut on the, the heel here so you can get in even further and do some more, more light detail work. Uh, Cindy Drosta has a great video on that and she actually makes her own tools and, and uh, does some incredible, really delicate finial work. So go check that out. And uh, But that's basically it. It's uh, just for doing detail work mostly. I mean, you can do some some uh, hollowing and, and stuff with it too, and I think I showed that in another video, but I'm not, not real good at that yet. I'm still practicing on that. So, and the uh, wax, you know what, I'm, I'll sand this up real quick and just kind of show you. All right, I'm just gonna take a piece of sandpaper here and, and show you, I, somebody had a question and said it was clogging on, clogging on them, and this is why I use it is is so it doesn't clog. And let me let me show you what what I'm talking about. Turn the laser speed down. If you hold it on there, I'll just just do it, and and don't keep applying the wax to it. Now it's not going to do it. It's going to be like time lapse. Hang on, because it's it's pretty smooth. So, okay, there we go. You see how it just kind of made a, a solid paste? It's not, not. Uh, it looks like it's clogging the sandpaper, which it is. It's That's what it's doing. It's just sitting there melting the wax into the sandpaper. I What I do is I put wax on it. I sand it up just like that. I stop before it, before it starts to clog like that, and I put a little bit more wax and the mineral oil on it, and then sand some more. I don't let it get to that point where where it clogs it. And if it was this was coarse and and uh, it wasn't wasn't so smooth already, it would clog it up even faster. So that's what I, I do is I just keep when it starts to get you know use up all the wax or mineral oil, I just put, I put some more on, and that keeps the sandpaper free. So I hope that helps just like that. I just keep putting it on. And you can see where are we at. It's still fresh sandpaper right there. Okay, I wanted to show you one other thing. This is just, when I started using this, I was just using the mineral oil. I didn't mix it with the with the wax. The reason I started mixing it with the wax was when I started filming and it sprays up and was getting on the camera lens. So I stopped, stopped uh, so I started mixing it with the, wa with the wax to keep it from doing that. Just use straight mineral oil, and then you can put put the wax on later, or put on put on another finish like salable oil or, or something like that. So just turn the lay speed way down because if you turn it up, it will spray all over the place. And this actually this works better than putting the wax in. It's just the straight mineral oil. It doesn't clog up as much. Just like that. If you keep the speed down. It's not too bad. But what happens is, you know, it rolled over on the edge there, that's what starts spitting and it gets all over your clothes and it's oil and the wall and camera and everything else. So that's why I stopped doing it. And why I started doing it with the wax. But you can see it doesn't doesn't clog up as much as with with the wax in it. It doesn't have that wax to clog it. And it just makes the sandpaper last quite a bit longer. Keep in mind, I sand with cloth back sandpaper, so, and I cannot remember the last time I sanded with paper, paper sandpaper, so I don't know how, I mean, it's gonna soak the paper, but I don't know whether it would hurt it or not, or make it break down, or any of that. I, I just know it works well with the cloth back. So, I hope that helped. All right. Um, next week I'm going to do a carbide cutter. Somebody just asked me if I would do uh, a video on that. But thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.